Like a sword fight. Let's take first. Before you move. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, turn that down a bit. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's. I am tired. <laughs> so bear with me if I'm slurring or whatever. But I hope everybody's having a good morning. Uh, Tuesday, another day. You know, keep it moving. Keep the work week going. Can't wait for the weekend. Yada, 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 all that good stuff. Um, I wanted to speak on, like, I want to speak on being a good friend. You know, <clears throat> I'm going to take a situation. So, you know, and forgive me for the person, but <laughs> forgive me for talking about this. I mean, it's not nothing serious or anything like that, but they'll know it's them as soon as we speak. So, you know, I, I got a friend that, uh, you know, one morning, one morning they called and they were just like, oh, I don't want to go to work. Uh, I'm not feeling too well. And just, you know, constantly constantly putting off the fact that they could put it on the fact that they don't want to go to work they're just not feeling it you know how you you know how it is some mornings you just wake up and you're just not feeling it i completely understand that and i know anybody that watches this video will understand that there are just times where you just are not feeling it and you just want to lay in bed all day you just want to just chill and not adult and just ah blah you know and I'm listening to my friend as they're complaining about this <laughs> complaining about not wanting to go to work complaining about ah uh, you know just they don't feel good you know that don't get me wrong they, they also said they didn't feel good you know that their head was slightly hurting and and um you know they just they just didn't feel well you know and their throat was hurting a little bit and their nose was running a bit so you know it, 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 I mean it, you know it sounded like it was you know coming she was, they they were coming down with a they were coming down with like a slight cold or anything or something along those lines so you know obviously I did the one two punch it was just like yo eat something take some cold medicine you know get up start moving you know you know, you know, when you're laying in bed and you're not moving and stuff like that, you know, that, that kind of like further like weighs you down and it makes you just not want to do anything. At least that's with me. And I told the person to, you know, I let them talk, I let them talk, I let them talk. And I mean, when I say I let them talk, I mean, it was 10 minutes of like, oh, I just don't want to go, I'm just not feeling it, I'm just not feeling it, I just don't want to go. I let them do that and then at the end of it I was like I hate to be this guy but you know you gotta go right <laughs> you know you gotta get up and go to work right you know you gotta adult today you have to you have to here comes Pierre to interrupt oh in my video though <laughs> and boys is on the job this morning you don't know? Job, job. Job, job. <laughs> Fogarty boys. Anyway, so I had to be that friend to let them know, like, hey, I know you're feeling the way. I'm, you're bending my ear. And here's the thing. Sometimes people will come to you. Sometimes people will come to you to look for the go-ahead to do something not necessarily productive, sometimes quite destructive. I've had people come and talk to me. And listening to their, you know, their stance on something, listening to the conversation and how it's going, you know, you can tell that they're like, yo, Breeze, yo, Mike, man, this person, da 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 and I could do A, B, and C to them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like ready to do that. And huh, 
I just, ooh, they just made me so mad. And you're listening and, and you know, and it's like, there have been so many times that I honestly and truly, I truly do believe that my input derailed certain situations from escalating. I truly believe that. Certain things I've heard over the years, certain things I've dealt with, certain experiences that I've had with other individuals, I truly feel as though what I said, how I expressed and conveyed the situation allowed for it to go down another path, a less destructive path. There are times when, you know, just looking at, let me take another situation. There are times when I, you know, I spoke with another individual and they were dealing with stuff going on in their, um, their relationship. And, uh, it's not necessarily that they took my advice every single time, but there were times when they did take my advice and it just seemed as though things moved a little smoother. Now, I'm not sitting over here and saying that I am the Dr. Phil of friends and I always have the right answers or I always know what the right thing to say is or yada, yada, yada. What I'm saying is, depending on the type of friend that you are, you know, when you look at how you interact with the people that you love and you care about and that you, the relationships that you do hold near and dear... You know, you do need to really pay attention to how it is you're helping these people, how it is you're influencing these people. Now, don't get me wrong. There have been times where I wasn't in the best state of mind or I've been affected by a situation and I feel like I took things a bit personal and chose to go down the destructive path. But for the better part of things, for the most part, you know, I've I've tried to stay clear of keeping of, of doing things on a personal taking things on a personal level um when an individual comes to me about a situation especially a situation dealing with somebody else that i know you know i try to take the stance of not taking either side but i always try to take the stance of like yo check this out it's no need to do that nah yo because i need to go and just put them in a place yo for what for what if the situation truly calls for it, I'm just going to ask a few things. What? How are you going to benefit from this? When you walk away from this, what, what what's going to happen? You know? Like, what is going to change if you do do this? Are you going to truly feel better? Is this person going to miraculously change? Sometimes, things just need to be left alone. See, I'm a firm believer in people showing who they are. I'm a firm believer in people, you know, when they do you wrong, when they screw you over, you know, as long as nobody was truly hurt. And I'm not even saying like that gives an excuse for somebody. If somebody was hurt to, for you to go back and do something to them. All I'm saying is I understand why a person would feel that way if somebody was truly hurt in that situation on some like finances and or, or physical harm or you know a child got harmed or something along those lines i can understand how retaliation comes about what i'm saying is little gossiping what i'm saying is somebody did you somebody made a decision that made you feel inadequate you know, things along those lines, you know, affairs of the heart, you know, emotions and things like that. You felt as though you could trust this person and they showed that they're not trustworthy. Sometimes it's just best to, hey, look, man, you did this. I wasn't feeling it and I need to back up. You'd be surprised at how many people, you know, the first thing that comes to mind when the person truly hurts their feelings is to tell them off, is to cuss them out, is to go hard on them. I know <laughs> because I'm one of those people. <laughs> there have been plenty of times where I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to an individual. I'm talking to my mom, you know, and I'm like, 
ooh, mom, I'm just ready to go off on them or ooh, such and such, I just want to go off on them and I'm ready to tell them about themselves and they don't know me, they don't know my slick mouth, they don't know I will disrespect the hell out of them, they mama, they child, they daddy, I don't care. You get me to that point, I don't care. But at the end of the day, do you understand how the amount of energy it takes to do all of that? You know how much negativity you bring you bring about bring upon yourself? And people just aren't worth it. And depending on the type of friend that you are, there are times where you have to lead your friend to understand that notion. That sometimes it's just not worth it. Sometimes it was the best thing that could happen. A person showing you who they are. And it's up to you to pull the veil back and say, look, I know you're mad right now. I know you're seeing red right now. But you going over there, potentially putting yourself in harm's way just because you need to tell this person about themselves. It's not worth the repercussions. It's not worth the consequences. Versus you just saying, okay, they did this. I see. Let me think on it. Let me calm down. When they come to me, I'll let them. I'll, I'll let them tell. I'll tell them about themselves, you know. But right now, in the moment, I'm angry. I'm this. It's liable to escalate. It's liable to go somewhere. You know what? You're right, Breeze. Let me calm down. Sometimes it doesn't go that that smoothly. I won't lie. But you'd be surprised on how many times I've <laughs> a person will come back to me. I've actually had situations happen. Where a person comes back to me after the fact and says, yo, you was right. I shouldn't have did that. And I've done that too. Yeah, I, I could have handled that better. I, I should have listened. What type of friend are you? Are you that that instigator? That, 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 you don't understand. These instigators, people that are instigators, let me tell y'all about yourselves. Y'all instigators are are one of the worst, man. You are willing to see your friend, somebody, put themselves in harm's way, potentially destroying a bridge that they may need later or whatever, or, you know, potentially destroying a career, potentially destroying... Potentially putting themselves in a situation that they won't... Because, I mean, even if this is a person that doesn't have any uh, hold on any position or anything like that. This is strictly a social friend of yours. And you instigate to your... You instigate to a friend to say, Nah, yo, go ahead. Yo, put them in their place. Knock they block off. This and that. You knock that person's block off. You put them in their behind somebody. You don't know who that person knows. You don't know who's down with that person. You don't know who that person is going to be around. So you hit that person. Then the person that that person is with says, oh, dang, pulls a knife, knocks them back out, shoots them, whatever. You don't know where a situation is going to go. But because you want some entertainment in your life, you you go ahead and you instigate and you push a person to go do something that is not necessary. Because the person put your name in a situation where all you got to do is go back and say, when did I say that? When did I say that? When did I do that? You're lying. Stop lying. Don't, don't, don't make me have to talk to you again. I'm not playing with you. Don't put my name in no situation, especially when I don't have nothing to do with the situation. Done. End of, end of discussion. Keep it moving. Stay away from that person because they like putting your name and stuff. They like lying on you. But you're going to go and hit the person and this and that for and have it escalate to a point because some people don't need, look. Some people don't know how to take a butt whooping. It's just that simple nowadays. But because the person that you talk to is an instigator, now it's going to a realm that it may not be no return from. What type of friend are you? You're that instigator? You need to stop. You need some entertainment? Go watch Game of Thrones. Seriously. These are people's lives out here. These are people's livelihood. You got to try to move better the older you get, you know? I get it if you're in high school and all that type of stuff and this and that. and Young adults in your 20s and stuff. Those are the times to make stupid mistakes. Very, very stupid mistakes. But trust and believe me, some of those mistakes will stay with you. 
for a very long time. So be mindful. This is not an excuse to say, yeah, go ahead, wild out. No, it's not no excuse to wild out. No, it's just me saying, look, you make a mistake or two in your younger years, learn from them. You see the type of person that you keep bringing around you and bringing in your circle, learn from the ones that fell off before. You see that you're the type of person that keep instigating things that just seem to always be mixed in trouble. Learn from it. Be better. Seriously. What type of friend do you talk to? What type of friend are you? Be the type of person that will, you know, keep a person at peace. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Sometimes you just need to shut up and listen to the person. Listen to the person. Listen to what they're going through and just, man, I get it. You know, whatever you decide to do, man, I, I hear you. But, you know, just don't do not do nothing ra drastic. Just take a second think. Sometimes that's all you need to tell a person. You'd be surprised. Because people, you know, when they come to you with stuff, they, they, they want to hear your opinion. Sometimes it's you. You're the very catalyst. That could be the difference between life and death. That could be the difference between them going to jail or not. That could be the difference between them losing a job and not. Because they're so... They become so influenced, you know. Sometimes you... Some people... Some people that you're friends with... They just... They can't think for themselves. They just need one or two people in their corner. Tell them, go ahead. Yeah, do that. So they just go ahead and react. Some people is like that. Here's what it is. I'm not, not knocking. Not saying they're weak. Not saying they're sheep. Not saying nothing along those lines. Just saying some people are like that. Easily swayed. Easily swayed. If you have the power as a friend. To sway a person in the right direction. Why wouldn't you do that? You dig? So. With that being said, you know, be mindful of what type of friends you are to people. If you're that sorry, sucky friend that instigate things, <laughs> that like putting people names and stuff, you know, grow up, learn from it. Because, you know, honestly, one day somebody going to knock your teeth out. And I won't say that you deserve it, but I won't say that you don't deserve it. No, but seriously, though, um, be mindful of the type of friend that you are to people, you know, and you have to really know what type of influence you have, you know, in certain people's lives. And sometimes you don't even realize how powerful you are in a person's life, how much influence you truly have over that person's decisions and, and like their final straws and stuff like that. And it's better just to be that person that really stays grounded for that person some people are just a wild child and you are that person that needs to stay grounded for them okay and with that being said you know i hope everybody have a good rest of the day have a good rest of the week i am still waiting for my people as you can see Man, love, peace, and blessings, man, to everybody. You know, God bless, you know, blood covering, protection, all that good stuff, you know. Um, so I'll just move forward and keep growing and, you know, just try to be better, you know. Or not. What do I know?